hi guys welcome back to my channel um in today's episode we are going farming we visited the shetim farm that is owned by the family of mr and mrs chang kano timothy and it was amazing you know how they talk about farming and how it's very complicated it's dirty it's for you know a certain sect of people i think that's a misconception and uh, you can actually make a living a very decent living from such a life so in today's episode we are going to isinjiro which is also my village anyway uh, and we are going to see wearing of goats and uh, cattle so please stay tuned and learn the tips and tricks keep watching and thank you please like comment and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get more of these of these videos Hi everyone, my name is Timothy and welcome to the Shetim Farm. Uh, we do both cattle and goats plus some few sheep. We started this farm in uh, 2020 during uh, the COVID lockdown. Uh, we have uh, 234 goats and uh, 80 heads of cattle. We are breeders, we are crossbreeding uh, Muvende goats with the uh, boa he goats. This is crown number one. We have 154 goats here, and in crown number two, as you shall see later, we have uh, 80 goats. Uh, this farm belongs to me and my wife, and uh, we are using it as a, a source of income for generation. We employ uh, seven people, including uh, a manager who is uh, a vet. You're all welcome, and uh, I encourage everyone, the young people, to join us in farming. It's a good venture, and you won't go wrong on it. Thank you. Let's have a tour around the farm and you see. This is uh, the pen, as you can see. It is simple, made of uh, it's a simple structure made with uh, holes and uh, timber and it's not expensive and it is affordable. You do not have to do the, the, the expensive structures when you're just beginning because at the end of the day what you need is the stock. Goats are a very profitable venture. They produce twice in a year. So if you begin with 100 goats, you have a probability that by the end of the year, if you have 100 mothers, you'll have uh, one less uh, kids by the end of the year. And if you have a little bit of death here and there, you'll mean with around 120. And the kids are the, bene are the profit of the, of the goat farming. So you have to take good care of them, look after them and have good management, cleaning, and the rest will work out for you. Thank you. So we are heading to our crowd number two. And, uh, that's where we'll see the other 80 bots where they are. of goat farming is that uh, goats are affordable at 250 300,000 uh, number two they produce faster twice in a year so literally you get the numbers and, faster uh, if you have uh, small capital they are the best to start with instead of investing in cattle cattle a little bit expensive two million each three million depending on the bread you're buying so it's affordable for you it is a project that everyone can begin. You don't have to own land, you can lease someone's farm as cheap as oh. 5 million per annum and put the goats and start raising it. Uh, 
um, you must have if if you want to go large scale, you must employ a big full time engineer to help you with the risks and you will be able to treat your animals. You will be able to identify which animal is sick on time and treat in time, which will uh, in turn help you reduce animal challenges we faced initially. We lost uh, about 50 kids. So we cut some losses here and there, but now with good management, we, we, we've managed that. Way forward, we want to grow to be the leading goat farmers in Western Uganda. And uh, we want to, as the numbers get bigger, we want to open a number two and uh, start exporting goat meat. So I encourage everyone to come and start goat farming. It's a good project. Those who are willing to visit, my name is Timothy. This patch for the Ankole Patrol, which we are crossing with a brand to get crossbreeds of brands. We have 60 heads of cattle here, and uh, our total number of cattle oh. is 90. We have 60 heads of here, of Ankole cattle here, and we have 30 heads of Frisians on another farm. So this is the uh, Ankole, uh, the long horn of Ankole cattle. So this is our wood. The Goran bull. It's still very young. It's about a year and a half. I bought it from a breeder across. And uh, the kinds of calves uh, we are getting from that is this. White chicken and brownish. These are the kinds of calves we are getting from, from crossing. Brands are uh, uh, for beef. Uh, they can survive through uh, the dry conditions and uh, tick resistant ah. and the, the cells for beef are good. A brand ah. goes for between 5 to 7 million depending on the weight. Kole cows are between 2 to 2.5 million depending also on the size. Persians are for milk production and uh, uh, we are for 3 million, 4 million, depending on, on, on the breed. Thank you. Wish you all the best and invite you to join the family.